he ain't got the waterworks going for me but it'll do like together as a unit it's not giving this is the first thing that you say the moment i sit down at the table i got 99 problems but that bill was not one of them you drained my energy to the point where my eyes is red now he just he, he killed it for y'all okay i need luxury vibes i need to be up here i need to be top tier It's your girl Janana Cole here and welcome back to my channel and before we get into today's video if you'd like to be a part of the Nelly gang all you gotta do is hit subscribe like come on and then you want this for life so subscribe boo and anyways without further ado let's get straight into today's video y'all right, come gather come gather because today we have some tea okay we literally have some tea today usually for my little story times y'all know I like to have wine but it's early in the day it's early in the morning and i'm not gonna drink no wine right now so we just got some tea today i'm gonna be talking about the worst day ever okay this is the worst day i ever went on i hope you guys are ready because i was definitely shook and i was definitely not ready for what he was trying to give okay before we get into the video make sure you guys smash that like button make sure you get all your snacks and everything together and without further ado let's get straight into the story time so we're gonna go ahead and start with how chapter one which is how did me and this me and this guy meet um when did we meet and how did we meet so we met i got the receipts right here on my phone november the 28th of last year now around this time i was really like i was really big single like i didn't want to go on no dates i didn't want to entertain nobody like i just wanted to be single 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 this particular day i decided i wanted to go to church but the service that i wanted to go to i had missed like a little bit of it so by the time i walked in the pastor was already talking you know and i was just like now nah, like i want my whole church vibe you know what i'm saying like i want to be able to worship i want the whole vibe and so since i missed it i was like you know what i'm gonna just wait for the next service but it was kind of annoying because i had to wait all that time and i was like what am i gonna do in between this time because i'm not gonna go back home you no know, i'm kind of hungry let me just go to ihop okay so i take my little fine self to ihop got my little church outfit on and i said you know i'm gonna eat my food and then i'm gonna be nice and full and i'm gonna be ready to go to church okay? now this ihop that i go to me and my family usually go here together so when we go there like the waiters and stuff always say hi to us because they've seen us come in there over the years throughout these past few years of me being here living here I've definitely seen his face around but we've never had like a full-blown conversation you know what I'm saying like it's always been like hey how you guys doing like he would always address me with like my whole family as a whole but we never had a one-on-one -on -one conversation let's get his boy name we're gonna call him cam so cam let me describe what he looked like okay because he's definitely different from the typical guy that i would go for but you know i just wanted to do a little something different but okay so cam is not really that tall i'm gonna say he's probably like five six and up but i mean he's taller than me i'm five two so if you're taller than me then that's good but preferably i would like you to be like you know like like at least five eight and up you know what i'm saying but i feel like he was low-key on the shorter side he's a white boy okay he was a white boy not he was he he is a white boy he has like this little kind of like the kind of like shaggy from scooby-doo but not not that messy but his hair is kind of like that like it's straightish a little bit i don't even know he's kind of like average body type like he's not super muscular so boom i sit down my waiter comes over to me she's like oh my gosh you look so beautiful blah blah, blah. like where are you going i'm telling her like oh you know i'm gonna go to church after this and stuff so i place my order in there i see him and he sees me and we just kind of like locked eyes which is very awkward i was like oh my gosh like why am i locking eyes with him i don't know but he had like a plate full of stuff and when he walked by he was like you look very familiar to me and in my head i was thinking like boy you see me coming here with my family like he's, he's trying to i don't know maybe that was just his way uh, to start a conversation with me i don't know but honestly he could have just said hi because that's what he always does he was like you usually come here with your family maybe that's why it's throwing me off i was like oh yeah i usually do come here with my family he was like where's your family at? i'm like oh they at home you know they sleeping you know i'm just out here in these streets by myself pretty much you know and he was just like oh okay cool so then he left so y'all throughout the time of me eating he kept coming over to my table and asking me like do you need anything do you need this do you need that like it was to the point where i forgot i even had a whole nother waiter y'all like he came over to me he's the one who actually gave me my food he's the one that gave me my silverware he's the one that gave me like my syrup and stuff like that like he was literally my waiter at this point like i don't know what happened to old girl but she done disappeared 
disappeared. So he was just my waiter. But I'm gonna just give y'all a spoiler alert because he told me this while we was on a date. But he told me that he wasn't my waiter, but he told the girl that he thought I was beautiful. So he asked her if he could be my server pretty much. And she was like, oh yeah, you know, do your thing. I finished eating my food, y'all, and I'm ready for the bill. So he went, grabbed the bill, I paid for my thing. Now this whole time while we're t like, he's coming over to me, he keeps giving me like these little googly eyes. Like he's looking at me like, I don't know. I just feel like you could tell when somebody's about to ask you for your number. Well, as a female, I feel like I could tell when somebody's about to ask me for my number or somebody's interested in me. Like, I just feel like you could just tell. Like, it's just that vibe you get. So, I paid for my stuff and he came back. I was about to leave and he came running back with this paper, like a receipt, and he had his number on there. He was just like, I usually don't do this. I'm not supposed to be doing this right now, but you're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. I want to get to know you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, here's my number, and you know, hopefully I hear from you, pretty much. That's how we met. We met at IHOP. Now, listen, y'all. A lot of people think that, like, I always get this all the time, like, oh, like, do you only mess with YouTubers? Do you only mess with people, like, big people or whatever? Like, y'all, I don't care if you're a regular schmegler person. You could be a regular schmegler person, and I'll still talk to you if you give them what you're supposed to give. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got something going for yourself, if you got, like, you know, your money is good, everything's, you know, like, if you if you got goals and stuff like that, like, you don't got to be a famous person or somebody that got clout or money or whatever for me to talk to you, like, I don't care. Yeah, I don't discriminate, you know, but, yeah, I don't think I can do servers. Specifically, I hop servers. <laughs> but um, yeah, so boom. Fast forward, I did text him that day. But yeah, so he texts me, and straight off the bat, y'all, he's like, "You want to take you on a date?" Now, y'all, I love that. Yes, apply the pressure. Okay, the pressure was applied. I love that. I'm gonna fast forward to us. I think this is gonna be like chapter. Is this chapter two? We're talking, we're texting. He's telling me about himself, and I think he was in his 30s, if I'm not mistaken, y'all. Let me go back to the messages. Let me pull up the messages. <laughs> y'all I wish I could show y'all his picture it's giving it's low-key giving Michael Jackson um the white version I don't know okay anyways um so yeah he's 27 we're talking in the text messages you know I'm getting to know him he sent his picture now y'all when he sent this picture he's one of those people where they look better in person than they do on their pictures like he's not very photogenic no offense to do but he's not he was like when he sent the picture it was definitely given ihop server i listen no offense okay i don't want nobody to be trying to tussle with me in the comments but it just wasn't given what it was supposed to give like honestly he should have kept the picture but i don't like to be shallow and i like to give people a fair chance but i also feel like attraction is you know a big part of like you know you want to be attracted to the person that you're with but i I was like, you know, he, he, all right, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can work with it, you know, well, I can work with it, but I don't, I don't know. The waterfall ain't falling, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't got the waterworks going for me, but it'll do, it'll do, okay? The one thing that I really did like about him, though, is that straight off the bat, he applied that pressure, okay? After we did, like, the little simple, little small talk, like, where you from, where you from, how old are you, what do you like to do, that kind of thing, boom, he hit me with the, I want to take you on a date, like, when are you free? I love that y'all i love that so he asked me what do i like to do um i did mention bowling because i'm always going bowling with my family and stuff but i was like oh, i feel like that's kind of like second date vibes like i just want to sit down and do a traditional dinner date because i need to like talk to you and see what your vibe is pretty much like, i don't want to be distracted with like bowling and something super fun because no baby i need to see what you're giving okay that's the second date kind of vibes he picked this place that i never went to and i love that too i'm like yes like he just asked me what kind of food i like and he just picked the restaurant he was like well this restaurant kind of got a mixture of both things that you both that you like because i told him you know i like burgers and stuff but i also like a little seafood i like a little bit of everything so he picked like a like a like a bar kind of vibe like it had like multiple different foods which i love plus i never been there so i was like yes like something new i'm telling my mom about him i'm like oh my gosh like i can't wait to go on a date like this is what he looked like we both kind of had the same thing like mm, he really not giving you know as far as the looks too much but we're gonna look past that okay we're gonna look past that fast forward to the day of the date so at this point i'm super hyped y'all i was so hyped because it had been a minute since i went on a date now let me bring it back to what i mentioned earlier so at this time i was not looking to to go on a date but i was like you know what like maybe this happened for a reason like maybe you know like that little fairy tale type of thing i was like maybe i bumped into him for a reason like i wasn't even expecting this to happen and maybe this is maybe this is my guy like you know like <laughs> So I was just super duper hyped because it had been a minute since I went on like an actual date and I was just like, you know, it was just, it's, it was exciting. I love going on dates, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it's like an actual date. I was so excited to the point where 
Your girl bought a whole new outfit for dude, okay? I went out shopping to buy a whole new outfit, a whole new outfit for this date. Just for him, just for the IHOP server. I just cannot see. This this right here be making me wanna not. You know what I'm saying? Server is, is if you're a server, you're crossed off my list. I'm sorry. He messed it up for all y'all. But uh, I was so hyped. Like my mom was like, I have not seen you this excited to go on a date in a minute. And I was like, I know because sis, I haven't been on a date in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting butterflies, like time is getting closer. I'm just getting more excited. I'm like, oh my gosh. We go to the date. And he warned me, he was like, you know, the parking lot is kind of kind of sketchy, you know, so just let me know if you have any problems. And he was not lying. It wasn't giving what it's supposed to give. The parking lot was giving very much ghetto. Okay, so let me tell you what I was wearing actually. So I had this little black shirt and it was like a little cutout right here. So it gave like a little bit of a cleavage, you know what I'm saying? But it was still really classy. I had these light colored jeans on with these little ruffles at the bottom. And I think I wore my little rainbow sandal heel kind of thing. I don't know. I was looking super cute. It's hard to explain it. If I have a picture of what I was wearing that day, then I'll try to insert it. I parts, but it was low key creepy because it was dark as hell. And it was like, I had to walk up this hill. It was just the parking was not given what the parking was supposed to have gave. It was definitely giving ghetto and it was giving creepy and it was giving somebody about to try to snatch me up so i called him and i was like um i'm parked but i don't really know where i'm at like can you come get me like seriously come get me i called him and i'm like i'm here but i low-key don't know where i'm at and i don't i don't really feel comfortable walking by myself to be honest and he was just like oh like just tell me where you're at and i'll and i'll like kind of like direct your steps and i'm thinking this that that was about to be strike one because no baby i it's dark as hell out here come get me okay come get me you're not gonna direct my steps over the phone come get me okay i'm not moving i'm not getting out of this car unless you're here i was like no i'm scared like i was scared y'all i was like i'm scared it's dark i got these heels on like you know like uh, i don't know you know come get me you know so he was like okay which street are you on i was telling him like the street that i was on and it turns out i was literally like down the street I, I all I had to do was just go up the hill, but still, it just, I don't know. He's like, we'll just stay on the phone until we see each other. I'm like, okay, cool. So I got out the car and I'm looking around. I'm like, okay, I don't see him. I don't see him. And then boom, I finally see him. So I see him. He comes over to me. He gives me a hug or whatever. We're walking and he got his arm like around me like this. Like we hugged each other. He has his arm around me like this. Now y'all, let me tell y'all what this, what this man had on. So mind y'all, I got these little cute heels on. I'm all dolled up, like makeup is done, hair is done, face is beat, outfit is looking like a whole new fit. Like I'm just looking like I'm ready. So y'all, this dude, he had on this blue plaid flannel shirt on with this dingy white tee underneath. His jeans look kind of ripped and his shoes looked a little ripped, okay? So just picture me, you know what I'm saying? I got my heels on, I'm smelling like YSL, Libre, face is beat, gloss is popping, hair is curled, heels are on, like I got a little cleave showing a little bit, like I'm just looking super crisp and clean. And then like, he look like he about to go have a few drinks with the fellas, you know what I'm saying? But again, y'all, again, again, I kind of felt like I outdressed him. And if I'm not mistaken, he might have said, like, like, whoa, like, you really dressed up. I'm just like, I might have got a little too excited for this date because, like, together as a unit, it's not giving, okay? It's not giving. Like, it's giving I'm just, like, dolled up and then you're just regular schmegler again there's nothing wrong with that but it's just like for me i'm thinking like okay if i'm gonna go on a date with you like i gotta figure out how we gonna look together as a unit okay like we gotta we gotta match each other's vibe and right now you're not matching my vibe i'm sorry and there's gonna be some people out there like oh well maybe that's the best he had blah 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 blah, blah. like i get that but uh still like i'm thinking about the future okay baby we gotta if, if this was actually my boyfriend like i can't pop out on a gram with you i'm sorry I, I, y'all would never see him. Y'all would have never seen my man because, and I want to show my man off. You know what I'm saying? I want to take cute little snaps and stuff, but it just wasn't given. Okay. It just wasn't given. Like, obviously I know that looks like I'm not, I don't want y'all to think that I'm just like only stuck on the looks. That's, that's the reason why I continue to still talk to him. Even though he wasn't, like, I wasn't a hundred percent attracted to him. I was like, ah, eh, he kind of all right, but yeah, I don't want y'all to think I'm shallow, but you know, that's that's still very important to me. Like, I want to be able to pop out with my man, and it just wasn't given that. It was given 
we gotta keep you on low. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody has to know. Nobody can know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Visibly, we just looked like two completely different people. But we walked into the restaurant, y'all, and the restaurant was so beautiful. Like I would actually go back there. Hopefully I never see him there. But yeah, I would go back there. Um, it was super beautiful, really nice. So he had already had his table ready for us. Like he had the table ready and everything. The water was already sitting there, which I did not drink that water because sir, I don't know what you did with this water before I got in here. I don't know you like that. I'm not finna drink this, but thank you for the gesture. But no baby, I need to order my own water, okay? The drinks, the food, I need to order that by myself. So yeah, it was a water already sitting there and he had a book sitting on the table. So I was like, okay. It's fancy in here. Remove the book, okay? You're not giving. You're not giving. I was just like, okay, baby. You know, go ahead, clear the clear the table now. <laughs> but he pulled this, the chair out for me. You know, did the gentleman thing, which I loved. So y'all, this is where this is where the date starts. Okay, so the date is starting. And before I even had a chance to catch my breath, okay, before I even had a chance to order food, before I even had a chance to finish looking around the restaurant, the effery started, okay? So y'all, I sit down, right? He has his book sitting on the table, he's drinking his water, and I'm turned like this, okay? So there's a door right here, there's a bar right here, we're sitting at a table. He's sitting right here, and I'm sitting right here, like the table was really weird. So we weren't sitting face to face. He was like sitting on the side, which I thought, which was low key annoying to me, but it was so packed in there that that was like kind of the only seat that they had. So he was sitting like right here, and I was sitting here, and it was like a circle, like kind of like a circle table. I'm sitting down here, y'all. I'm turning, I'm admiring how beautiful the restaurant is, okay, y'all? I'm like telling him, I'm like, wow, like it's so beautiful in here. I haven't been in here before. As soon as I turn my damn head, y'all, as soon as I turn my head, this, this man is sitting here like this. He's sitting here with his head, his elbow is on the table and he's like this. And he's shaking his head. And I'm like, did I miss something? Did I say something? Like, I know my breath don't stink. Like, what am I missing here? What's going on? Like, why are you, like, why are you visibly upset right now? Y'all, as soon as I turn my head and I see him like this, he looks up at me, y'all. He looks up at me and he's like, So, I'm a recovering drug addict. What? Sir, what? What? You got it like I when I I kid y'all not, I can't make this shit up. Okay? I literally the the moment I sat down and I and I turned my head, this man is sitting like this and he looks up at me and he's like, "I'm a recovery I'm a recovering drug addict." Are you kidding me? Sir, I didn't even get a chance to order my food yet. And you already hitting me with mess, okay? Now listen, y'all, it caught me all the way off guard because I was just like, wait, what? Like, we didn't even get to say hi, hello. Like, this is the first thing that you say the moment I sit down at the table. Now, granted, I know some of y'all could be thinking like, well, at least he's honest. He's just putting it, you know, being on. Like, I don't know. I just feel like time, there's a time and a place. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just so caught off guard. I was like, you're a what? Like, wait, what? Like, I didn't even get a chance to, to, to wait, wait. We didn't even get a chance to like get there yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't even get a chance to really say hello, say hi, how was your day? Like, this is the first thing, uh, I cannot. When I tell y'all this man was sitting here like this, telling me I'm a recovering drug addict, I just couldn't believe my eyes. I was just like, what? Like, what do, you, what do I say to that? I don't know what to say to that. Like, I was so stunned. I was just like, you know, how long have you been like sober? Like, it just, it just caught me off guard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to sound insensitive, but it just caught me off guard. So I didn't know what to say. So what I said was like, oh, wow. Like, you know, I'm glad that you're recovering, like that you recovered. How long have you been sober for? And I think he said that he was like sober for like a, a couple months to a year. So honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm glad that the, that the guy is recovered and he's, you know, he's been sober, but like that low key, that turned me off, okay? So I was like, what? Because it's just like, that's the first thing you hit me with as soon as I, I'm glad that he told me that, but it's just like, as soon as I sit down though, like that's the first thing you say, I don't know. It just caught me off guard. The waiter comes, I order my food. I order another water. Cause like I said, I'd be darned if I drank that water that was sitting there, especially after you done said that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, I was like, yeah, I need another water please. And I need my food. So I order my food. 
y'all at this point when i from that point on the date just went downhill it just kept going down 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 so y'all know that book that i mentioned that he had on the table he was low-key reading it which i thought was just like really like first of all why do you have this why like why do you have this book on the table like do you see where we're at put the book away like you know what i'm saying i just ugh. i don't know so you had the book on the table so i'm like you know what let's just move past what you just said like i still wanted to try the i still wanted to try to make the best of the date because i was super excited to go on this date just for i don't know so i was just trying to make the best of it and like still try to give him the benefit of the doubt you know what i'm saying so i seen the book and i was like you know what what is the book about this was strike two for me okay this was strike damn two. So he tells me that the, the book is about um, Buddhism. A bo I guess he's a Buddhist. Yeah, he said the book was about Buddhism. So if you don't know, your girl believes in God. Okay, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian woman. I believe in God. I'm not perfect, okay? None of us are. But I'm a Christian woman, okay? So that's strike two for me because we don't even believe in the same religion, okay? So how the hell is this going to work out, okay? Again, I'm thinking long term. I'm not going on a date just for the fun of it, okay, baby? When I'm going on a date, I'm going to like, I'm literally thinking about us in the future. That's why I said us together as a unit, we don't look good together for one, okay? But besides the looks, we don't even have the same core values at this point. So I'm just like, okay, this is definitely not going to work because I cannot be unevenly yoked. Like, baby, when we have kids, I'm going to want our kids to have the Christian values. You know what I'm saying? Like, go to church, believe in God. Like, I'm going to teach them my religion. And obviously, when they get older, they can choose whatever they want to do. But while they're living in, in this house with me, with us, I'm going to tell them about God. And I want them to be Christian like me. So... How that gonna work out? We teaching them two different things, so it's not gonna work. We're gonna be unevenly yoked. I'm gonna be trying to pray and do all this stuff, and like it's just not gonna work. So that was strike number two. So first, you say you was a recovering drug addict. As soon as I sat down at the table, second, you said that you you are a Buddhist. I don't even know what to call it, but yeah, you believe in Buddhism. That's your religion. Boom. Okay, there's that. The third strike, y'all. This man talked about his ex the whole damn day. The whole day. He talked about his baby mama and his ex. After he says that, I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm completely turned off. Because, sir, not only are you not really that attractive to me, I tried to work with you, but you're not really giving what you're supposed to give as far as the looks. Second of all, you're already hitting me with this mess as soon as I sit down at the table. Third of all, we don't even believe in the same religion. So you, you, you're you done in my book, okay? You're already done. I'm already done with this date. I'm already done with you. But again, I was trying to... Just, I was just trying to see the bright side, you know what I'm saying? But I already knew after that date, it wasn't going to be nothing further because no baby. The waiter comes with the food. We got the food. I'm just irritated thinking about it, you know? So if I seem irritated, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm back in that zone when I was sitting at that table. The waiter comes with our food. I eat my food. He has this little jam stuff. I don't know. He was wanting me to try it. And he was like, yeah, you know, you can just try it off of mine. Sir, I'm not eating off of you. I'm not eating the same thing that you just ate. Like, it was not giving. It was not giving what it was supposed to give, baby. I need luxury. I need luxury vibes, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not doing no more service after this. He just, he, he killed it for y'all, okay? I need luxury vibes. I need to be up here. I need to be top tier. Because I, I can't do this no more, okay? No, ma'am. Okay, at this point, I'm just here for the food now. Like, I don't even care at this point. I'm just here for the damn food, okay? Let a girl eat. But y'all, literally, it just felt like I was this guy's therapist. So he's talking about his ex. He told me that his ex was homeless. He even knew the neck of the woods that his ex was staying at currently. He was like, yeah, she's, she's staying in the woods up the street and blah, 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 blah. And we used to do drugs together. Like, y'all, I'm, I'm just sitting there like looking like, I done bought a whole ass outfit. I done got cute, looking real fine, lips is juicy, popping, titties is popping out a little bit for this. For this. I wasn't even I wasn't even trying to date nobody. I didn't even want to go on no dates. I was trying to be big single. And I decided to come out of hibernation for this. For this. For this. You gotta be out your rabbit ass mind. This will be the last time. Okay, from here on out, if you're not top tier, I don't want, I, I can't, I can't. So y'all, he's talking about his ex, how they used to do drugs together. He's saying that his ex is still doing drugs. Like, how do you, sir, how do you know, first of all, how do you know the neck of the woods that your ex is staying at? How do you know she at the woods up the street? Like, why are you 
keeping up with your ex that's staying in the woods? I don't know. So he's talking about that. And then he started talking about his baby mama and how his baby mama used to beat on him and stuff, which is very sad. And the whole day, y'all, I was like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm sorry this happened. Oh, oh, like it was just the whole day. Like we didn't say anything that nothing was, nothing that was said was good. It was my ex beat on me. I, my ex did this. My baby mama did that. But blah, 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 blah. Like he just went on and on about both of his exes, his baby mama. And then y'all, he even showed me a picture. He showed me a picture of him, the ex, and their whole families both together in one damn picture, y'all. At the damn date. I'm sorry I'm cursing, but I just couldn't believe that I decided to come out of hibernation. I decided that you know what, I'm not gonna judge a book by its cover. You know what, I'm not gonna be shallow. You know what, I am gonna give the IHOP server a chance. You know what, I am gonna do, I, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. I decided to like knock it down a notch. And this is what I get in return. And also to y'all, I want to add that he did say that he was very nervous on his date and that I kind of intimidated him. Like he felt like he was underdressed or like he just didn't meet my standards. So he was very nervous and he was visibly shaking. And yeah, he said that I look very beautiful and he was very intimidated by me. So thought I'd add that in. Like he was just sounding like he was still hurt about his past relationships not working out. Like it was just the fact that he was keeping up with like y'all, I didn't I barely got any words out on this date. Like there was a one moment in the date where he like after he said all of that, he was just like, So what do you like to do? Baby, what I like to do is eat and leave. Okay. Like I'm about to eat my food and I'm about to go home and I'm about to go back in my bed. Cause this mess here is not working out for me. That's what I like to do. When I tell y'all this man told me his whole life story about, he even told me about his ex, where his ex was born, what his ex do, what she don't like to do, what she like to eat on Mondays, what she don't like to eat on Mondays. Like, it was just ridiculous. And I honestly felt like this man's therapist, y'all. Like he was just talking about um, how he has anxiety. And he was like, when I gave you my number, I ran to the back and I had like, low-key had a panic attack. And I was just sitting here like, this is a lot, you know? like. This is a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I feel like I shouldn't go on a date and feel drained. I feel like I should go on a date and feel excited. Like, I went into the date super excited, ready to, ready to have a jolly time. Even though he wasn't all the way given what he was supposed to give, I was willing to look past that and I was willing to like genuinely get to know him. But now I'm drained. I'm drained even even discussing this story so the day is almost coming to an end i'm just ready to go home okay y'all so he told me like when he was a kid he had really bad anger issues like to the point where his parents he did have a therapist at one point and his parents had to help him because he said that his anger even still to this day is still not the best like he still be having to deal with his anger and his parents really worked with him he said that he felt like he was born angry sir what so you're telling me that you felt like as you were born angry and you have really bad anger issues and a really bad temper and your parents had to work with you and get you a therapist and stuff for your anger and for your mental health and on top of that you talking about you still trying to get that together so you mean you mean to tell me you can't control your anger you can't control your temper Oh baby, you crazy. You you gotta go. All this mess, and then you just it's like he just added the cherry on top. Like it just felt like I was sitting there listening to all the reasons why I should never mess with you ever again. Why I should never talk to you ever again. Like I get putting everything out on the table and like being honest and upfront, but but dang, like you got a whole lot of mess. Like yo, your honesty is 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 it's mess, baby, and I don't want nothing to do with it. You know, and quite frankly, you you weren't really given in the looks department, but I try to look past that. I can't I can't look past this, baby. I can't look past none of this, okay? You still keeping up with your ex that live in the neck of the woods. You talking about recovering drug addict. You talking about you angry, you got anger issues. You talking about like, it's a whole lot of mess that I don't want to be a part of. You don't even believe in the same religion that I, you, you don't even believe what I believe in. This ain't finna work. Once he said that, I was low-key scared because the way he looked at me, I was just like, so what you trying to say? Right after he said that, he was like, oh, and I also got something, I bought something for you, it's in my car. So, sir, you just told me that you got anger issues and then you gonna turn around and tell me some, I got you a gift, it's in my car. And that was the next thing.
thing, y'all, that was the next thing. Okay, y'all, listen. The bill came, right? So, you know, this is a date, right? He asked me on a date. So, sir, you're going to pay for this bill. So, I, I didn't have a question in my mind if he was going to pay for the bill because I'm assuming you're going to pay for the bill. But, y'all, when the bill came, he got the bill. He looked at the bill. He's analyzing the bill. And he was like, oh, you don't have to worry. I got this. Like, I'll pay for the bill. And I'm thinking, like, um, is he trying to be funny? Like, is he being sarcastic? Because he didn't laugh when he said it. He was like, oh, um, I got the bill. You don't have to worry about the bill. And I'm thinking in my head, like, sir, I was never worried about the bill. The bill was never one of my worries. Okay, I got 99 problems, but that bill was not one of them. It definitely wasn't because you definitely was about to pay for it. I don't know what you thought. I don't know if you thought we was going to split it. No, baby. I know you got the bill. I know you do. Because it, it never crossed my mind that I was going to pay for the bill. Baby, you, you asked me on a date. So that was, it was just, I, I couldn't believe. Maybe he was just trying to be sarcastic. I don't know. If he was trying to be sarcastic, I wasn't picking it up because I didn't laugh. I didn't chuckle. He didn't laugh. He didn't chuckle. Like, he looked dead serious about it. He's like, I got the bill. And I was just like, oh, thanks. Like, oh, in my head, I was thinking, I know you got the bill, baby. Like, what do you mean? Why are you telling me that? I already know. But on the outside, I was like, oh, thank you so much. That doesn't even, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping, but I just feel like that didn't need to be said because I thought, like, I don't know, did you did you think we was going to split it? Like, I don't know. I don't know what was going through his head, but he said that. So at this point, y'all, the man is telling me that he got a gift for me in the car. I'm so over it. I don't even want to face y'all on the camera. <sighs> he tell me he got, he just told me he got anger issues. And he's still trying to learn how to control his anger. He just told me, oh, I got the bill. I'm going to cover the bill. Okay, thank you. Then he's telling me, I got a gift for you in my car. So at this point, I don't want nothing to do with this man. Okay, so I'm thinking in my head, okay, I can do one or two things. I can just take off because he already paid for the bill. So I'm going to just take off and I'm going to start running. But then I was like, dang, it's that big, it's that long hill that I got to run down. And I got these heels on and it's dark and it's creepy outside. And I still low-key want him to walk me to my car because I'm creeped out. So I'm like, it's either run down the hill and potentially get caught up by some other creep or, or be stuck with this creep. So I decided to be stuck with this creep. So we leave, we're locking arms because he literally looped his arm in my arm. So at this point, my ar our arms are locked together. We're walking down that, that hill and I was just like, woo child, if I didn't have these heels on, I would have took off on you, okay? I would have took off on you. So we're walking and he's just like, you know, I really like you. You seem really sweet and you're beautiful. And I'm just like, how do you know you like me? Because this whole date you talked about yourself, okay? And you talked about nothing but mess, okay? You don't even know me, sir. I didn't even say not one word. I barely said anything. All I said was, oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. He walks me to my car and he's like, you know, I don't want the date to end. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I was low-key scared of this man because I think he's bipolar. I don't know. Maybe he did mention that he's bipolar as well. I don't know. But one minute he was like talking about traumas and, and drugs and how he's angry. And then the next minute he would be like, so yeah, so what do you, what do you like to do? Like he was just switching too much for me. And then that last bit about him not being able to control his anger was not sitting right with me. And I ain't gonna lie. That, that guy was low-key scaring me, okay, y'all? He was low-key scaring me. I didn't know that he parked behind me, so his car was literally directly behind me. So he's like, you know, sit in your car. It's kind of cold. I don't want you to be out here. I'm going to go get your gift and, you know, just sit in your car. So, y'all, I was sitting in the car. I turned my car on, and low-key, y'all, I was thinking in my head, like, what if, I just, what if I just speed off on his ass? Like, what if I just take off right now? But then I was like... This man kind of crazy. He might chase after me and then what? Then, well, then what, I'm, what am I going to do then? This man is crazy. And I was just thinking about life. I'm like, see, this is why I should have stayed in, inside. I should have stayed inside. I should have stayed in my little hibernation bubble because this ain't, this is not giving. I was looking, I'm like, if I see something in my rear view mirror that don't look right, I'm speeding off. So I got my foot on the gas. The car is on. I'm looking in my little mirror like... What is this little gift that he trying to get? He walked over to me. This was low-key so dangerous because I still... It could have went so wrong, okay? But he, he grabbed something out of his back seat. I couldn't really tell what it was. And he, like, put it behind his back. So I'm sitting here thinking, like, like what is it? I couldn't tell what it was. And I was just like, what is this? So, y'all, he's getting closer and closer to my car. And I am low-key scared. Like, my heart was beating so fast. I'm like, this man is crazy. Like, what is he about to do? So he's standing right there at my door and he's like, you know, like come outside, like open the door. And I roll the window down and I'm like, what do you got? He's like, are you going to come out? I was like, I'm kind of cold. Like I'm about to get out, but like, just show me real quick. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, baby, if it's something else, I'm, I'm taking off on your ass. Okay. He turns around and it's 
just a big thing of flowers, y'all. It's a big thing of flowers. I was like, woo, child. I'm glad it's flowers because it could have been way worse. I, I was thinking the worst, okay, y'all. I was just like, man, this man is crazy. So it was flowers. I got out the car. I gave him a hug. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And I did actually put the flowers on my story. I did put the flowers on my story, y'all. And the crazy thing is, this guy was really nice, but he just got a lot of issues. Too many issues for me, you know? Too much to do. And so I was like, oh, thank you so much. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna tell my mom you got me flowers. You know, I was, at this point, I'm just trying to be nice because you say, you, you know, you got a hard time controlling your anger. I don't wanna do nothing that's gonna piss you off, okay? So I'm like, thank you so much for the flowers. I put them in my seat and he's like, you know, I don't want the date to end. He like starts pulling me closer, you know? He's like, I don't want the date to end. I enjoy talking to you. I bet you do. I bet you, you probably enjoy draining my energies, which you, which you enjoy doing, cause I'm drained. He was like, so are you open to like going to the mall? Cause it's like a mall that was right by the, the, the place that we got dinner. I'm like, well, I think the mall's gonna close, isn't it? Like, it's kind of late. And he's just like, oh, well, there's a movie theater in there, which there is. And I was just, he's like, we can catch a movie. And I'm just like, I really don't want to go nowhere else with you, sir, but you're low-key scaring me and i don't want to say nothing to make you mad so y'all i agreed to go to the damn mall and all we did was walk around the mall his arm was locked in my arm and we're just in the mall walking around watching people close up their stands and stuff looking stupid as hell walking in this mall talking and then we came across this little stand y'all and the lady it was like a massage thing and she was like giving me a massage and she low-key kind of hurt my shoulder so i was like oh like okay i was like oh that's a little rough and he, when I, I kid y'all not, this man was staring her down. Like he was staring like he was about to flip. I was looking at him like, are you okay? Are you good? And when we left the stand, I was like, dang, like that massage, it, start, it felt good at first, but then it started to hurt a little bit. He was like, are you okay? Do you want to go back? I'm like, go back and do what? Like, tell her that her massage hurt my shoulder? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What are we doing? What are we gonna do, jump her? Like, what the hell are we finna do? I was just ready to get the freak about the mall. I was so glad that the mall was closing because I was just like, how am I gonna get out of this situation? I just wanna go home. And now I'm locked arms walking in the mall with this guy. So I was so glad because the mall started closing and obviously we had to leave. But um, he was just like, he's like, meet me at this restaurant down the street. Y'all, we went to the damn restaurant. I know y'all thinking like, Janelle, why don't you just go home? Y'all, I was literally scared. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared of this dude. I know I could have just easily like drove home, but when I seen him getting visibly upset at the lady in the mall because she massaged me weird or whatever, I was just thinking like, I don't want to do nothing that's going to make this man mad. Now this last, cause we went to like a restaurant slash bar because he wanted to play pool. And actually he did teach me how to play pool. And I ain't gonna lie, that was fun. Like the pool was fun. It was a cool time, but I was okay getting irritated because he kept like putting his arms around me. And y'all, there was a crazy thing because it was another dude that I used to talk to and he always goes to that place and he was in there. The other dude that I used to talk to was in there and it was so awkward because this white dude is over here putting his arms around me. Like he was behind me, like putting his arms around me and stuff. And it was very much uncomfortable. And he did ask me, he was like, are you okay? He's like, is this fine? And y'all, I don't know. Like when you're in the moment, you just don't, like I froze. I literally froze. I was like, yeah, like this is fine. But honestly, I was uncomfortable as hell. I did not want him touching me, but I just did it. I don't know, y'all. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, you should have said something. You should have been left. You should have been did this. Okay, should have, would have, could have. I didn't, okay? I didn't do it. I was just going with the flow, and I was like, after this, I'm going home. Because it was starting to get late. I was over it. I was tired. I was drained. I was done. So I was like, yeah, I'm getting tired. You know, I'm ready to go home. I can't barely keep my eyes open, which I couldn't, y'all. This man literally drained all the energy out of me, literally. Like literally, I felt tired as hell. So he was like, oh, like, okay, you sure you wanna leave? I'm just like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm sorry, I'm tired, I can't even. I'm like, look at my eyes. He was like, yeah, your eyes are red. Y'all, my eyes was red. My eyes were red, okay? That's how drained I was when they do that. My eyes didn't turn damn red. He was like, yeah, your eyes are kinda red. I couldn't tell if it was from the pool table or, or blah, 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 blah. I'm like, nigga, it's from you. It's from you. You drained my energy to the point where my eyes is red now. I'm ready to go home. I'm drained even just, just telling this story I'm drained. He walks me to my car. He gives me a hug. He low-key tried to lean in for the kiss and I was like, mm -mm. I pulled away before that could even happen. And he was just like, you know, I want to see you again. I'm just like, yeah, like, thank you for the date, blah, blah, blah. 
and I got in the car and I left baby and I said you will never ever ever see me again okay he will never ever ever see me again he was trying to plan the second date and I had to tell him straight up I actually did tell him because I thought he was gonna be like did you tell him let me read what exactly what I said y'all I told him I said baby which the shit you pulled <laughs> I didn't say it like that, obviously. He was like texting me, but I wasn't really responding. So I replied the next day. I said, hey, my apologies for the late reply. I said, Cam, that's not his name. But I said, Cam, I'll have to be honest and say, after I had some time to evaluate our time on the date, I'm not sure how far this will go. We did have a great moment as far as you teach me how to play pool. I said, I won't lie. I felt like it was a lot being told to me all at once for our first time meeting. So it made the date feel heavy. I said, it was a lot to take in, especially since this is my first time actually meeting you and getting to know you. I said, I really think some of the things that you mentioned doesn't really align with my journey and the path that I'm on. I hope this doesn't come off wrong. And I'm proud of you for choosing to, for trying to choose to be on a better path as you mentioned you really weren't looking to date and i think this would be a great time to continue to focus on you and your daughter because on the date he was like he pretty much said the same thing that i said he was just like you know i really wasn't looking to date but when i seen you i was like oh i have to give you my number so he was like saying like he wasn't really trying to date anybody right now and i was like oh i'm not really trying to date nobody right now either and he mentioned that on the date so i was like as you mentioned you really weren't looking to date and i think this will be a great time to continue to focus on you and your daughter. And I said, I encourage you to keep pushing through any obstacles that you may face. Take care. Okay, so see, I, I just missed him very nicely, y'all. So boom, y'all. I feel like my message was very nice because I could have like just literally not have said anything. But I didn't want to end. I didn't want to be rude. You know what I'm saying? Even after all of that mess, I was still very nice. Okay, I still dismissed him very nicely you know i i encouraged him to keep on his sober path to, to to you know keep pushing through all the obstacles that he mentioned on the date so boom this is what he said he said no worries on the late reply and good morning thank you for your thoughtful response i apologize for the oversharing and the heavy feeling i definitely understand that he said for the sake of potential personal growth opportunities what may i ask are the things that didn't align for you also, would you be interested in staying in contact and maintaining a friendship? No, you didn't come off wrong. And lastly, thanks for the encouragement. If you do want to maintain a friendship, my friends and I are going out to blank next Thursday for somebody's birthday. I don't know who this is. He said dinner and it sounds like bowling and blank invited you to join us if you wanted to y'all then this man sent me a damn picture of a lizard y'all i can't make this shit up i'm about to show y'all the picture he sent me a picture with a lizard with no freaking arm what the hell and then he said completely unrelated i saved this little guy from a sticky situation last night whatever and then he said alternately i can lose your number if you'd like because i wasn't responding so he's like i could lose your number if you'd like Listen, camp, yes, lose my number. But honestly, I just, I didn't respond after that because I feel like I said what I said. Like, you just, you just said a lot. Like, you did too much, okay? You did too much. We don't got the same, we don't believe in the same things. We just, we just don't match, okay? We don't vibe, we don't match. Um, and that was that. I was not interested in still being friends with him. I was not interested in talking to him because you're draining me, sir. I'm drained even sharing the story time. So yeah, y'all, that was the story time about the worst day I ever went on. I felt like I was this man's therapist and it was just not okay. Don't, don't be going on dates doing this, okay? Yes, you can be, yes, it's important to share stuff and like be open and honest. I'm not saying like fake your life, but like to do all of that on the date, like to share all of that like this is not a therapy session you need to go to therapy you need to talk to god when you're coming on a date you're supposed to not be draining the person like that was very much draining i don't know i just felt like you have a therapist to do to talk about all this deep stuff with not me i i just i don't know it was just it was too much too much too much you know so yeah i wish that guy the best i hope he's doing well you know i hope he's in an even better place and i hope he's not doing this on no more dates um but yeah that was my worst date that i ever went on i am drained okay talking about this but y'all let me know what y'all think about this date down below what would y'all have done what would y'all have said like what did what do y'all think and do y'all have any worst date experiences let me know in the comments down below but yeah y'all that's the end of today's video Woo, child I'm glad this story is over and done with because i'm tired but um yeah that is the end of today's video make sure that you guys follow me on all of my social media it'll be down below in the description box with the direct links thank you guys so 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 freaking much for watching and of course as always i'll see you guys in my next video bye you guys